Hello, my name is Josh Meyer. I have been attending Spring Hills for about the last 10 years. Uh, my wife's name is Leah. I have two wonderful children, Emily and Colton. And today I want to share with you a story about God's obedience over my life. So, my wife and I, we really like to go on Costco wholesale dates. Sometimes as a husband and wife trying to get things done, Occasionally, you have to figure out a way to have some special time together, and we absolutely love Costco. And so, we take that opportunity to just get excited and look at all the different things, and who knows what bulk item we're going to end up purchasing. While we uh, finished our uh, shopping extravaganza, if you will, we got to the register, and my wife remembered that she wanted to pick up some cold brew coffee. And so, in typical Costco fashion, she asked, she asked the uh, cashier assistant if they had any cold brew coffee still. And Costco loves to help you and give you great service. So, we stopped and shut down our lane completely. And the cashier assistant said, sure, no problem. I will take you uh, back to the very back of the warehouse so where I can show you our 240 bulk extra sur surplus supply of coffee. And so, in the meantime, my wife went off back with the cashier assistant and that left me up front with the cash register employee at that time. So after about 15 or 30 seconds had gone by, I felt like there was this call on my heart to just start to share with this nice lady. This lady's name was Kimmy. She was probably in about her mid 50s and she was a little bit quiet and a little bit reserved. And I just felt like this energy that came across, came to me, and it was like the voice of God just saying, I really want you to share your story. God was calling me to be authentic and then be transparent about my story. And so I had the opportunity to share with her that I used to work at Costco. I spent eight years working for Costco as a wonderful company, and I asked her if she liked her job, and to which she responded, and she felt a little bit more receptive to me sharing that I work with Costco. And then she said, no, why did you leave Costco? And that was the moment when God said, now I want you to share your story. And so I shared with her that I loved Costco. I loved the way it took care of its employees, but I felt like God was calling my heart to take a different adventure where I would have a little bit more free time on the weekends to serve God more fully in various ministries and to try to be a better husband and a better father as well on the weekend. And then subsequently, I was even called further into ministry. At that critical point, Kimmy stopped and she said, oh, wow, that's interesting. And there was something in her, in my story, that gave her the invitation to share her story. She shared that within the past two years, one of her best and most dear friends had lost her life and she felt a little bit angry with God and needed to step back. And now she's in this, she shared that basically she was in this place where she didn't know how to really come back to God. She didn't know whether or not God would even want her to come back. And in that moment, the level of obedience that God put on my heart was to say, Josh, you need to be absolutely blunt and honest with her. And there we were in Costco, in the cashier line. And I just said to her, I said, Kimmy, I said, you need to know something. I said, the very fact that you have a desire in your heart to come back to Jesus is exactly what God desires of you. And all it takes is that you take that truth of Jesus Christ, what he did on the cross and how he conquered death and sin and that he's given you an invitation into eternal life and healing on this side of earth, of, of, of this earth. That's all it is right there in your heart. Feel free to receive that. And in that moment, it was what she needed. She started to well up with tears and she just said, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course it wasn't me, it was the Holy Spirit, but it really did come down to obedience. Be obedient to the Lord and let God do the work through you.